Alright guys, Cobb here, coming at you with a new video. We've got something a little special for you to, here today. So this is going to be a constant ongoing series of me recording my untapped games and showing you the testing of the new D-Brigade list. Some call it Neo D-Brigade because it is truly a brand new deck. Um, we're no longer just praying, putting our command room on out and uh, full sending it as they walk into option cards. Now we've actually got uh, impressive top end to work towards here. So what we're going to be doing is um, this series is going to be me testing the deck, updating it as we go. We're going to be talking about our matches um, on Untap and seeing how the deck develops from the start of the meta all the way to the end. Um, now I've been playing D Brigade since its conception in BT4. Uh, it's been the one deck I've spammed to hell, had a good regionals result with it, I came 31st, it was my first regionals as well, so pretty pleased with that result. Love D Brigade, love Command Ramon, and uh, really excited to get into this because I've not actually done a lot of testing on it. Now at this point in time, EX3 has been delayed in Europe, it was meant to be coming out tomorrow, it's coming out next week now. So um, we're going to do a bit of testing today, and uh, let's see what we can do with the deck list. Strap yourselves in. It's going to be fun. Okay guys, so let's get into the deck profile here. Now this is just the first draft I've came up with. An issue I have with the new D-Brigade is I don't know if the top end is powerful enough to warrant your loss of all your security bombs and uh, the speed of the deck and consistency going down. So what I've drafted here is a deck that actually Hearthstone started an update, very nice. Um, the deck that I've drafted here focuses on maintaining that same speed of the original D-Brigade while getting the top end with the Tank Dramon and the Dark Dramon in. Now, I'll quickly go through the cards, nothing too fast. We're going to be doing a lot of editing here, so don't worry, you're not going to have the untapped experience of some jerk off who has never played the game in his life taking 10 minutes per turn. I'm going to be editing this right down. So, quickly going through the deck here. We've got Commander Mon, 2 drop, best boy. We love to see a 2 drop, and he's 3k, quite powerful. We've got the blocker commander on at four, one of the best things to play on board, very nice. We've got the greatest card in the deck, the on deletion commander on. You know what it does, on deletion, top three from deck, lets you play a commander on for free and we are running about 18 commander on in the list, so the odds are pretty high we're going to hit this every time. New decoy com commander on, so um, if another D brigade gets killed, we can use this commander on here to take the hit and the other cards will not die. Very useful, prevents board clears as well, um, which is a big issue for the deck. Um, we've got the Sergeant here, 5k, he's just a big bungus. We love playing him for free, we love cheating him out, we don't like hard playing him unless it's the Joker opponent. Higurumon, a uh, card that's been dropped from a lot of D Brigade lists, but I think it's fantastic. You've got too many a one card in hand, we play him down, we fuel the trash for the Tank Dramon and the Dark Dramon, and um, also lets us cycle through the deck. Was considering system on CL here, but we'll see if we want to put that in later. New Seals Dramon's fantastic, helps with the game plan massively. Jamming on a, a level 4 is great. 4k DP, pretty low, but when comboed with the new Missimon that gives your D Brigade reboot, actually lets you repeatedly swing, 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 um, and not die, so that's useful as well. Old Seals Dramon here, just a reliable blocker. Um, not much to say about it, it's not very fancy. New Tank Dramon, so when Digivolving reveals your top 3 cards from deck, you can play a D Brigade um, from there at a play cost of 5 or less and trash the remaining. Very nice. And you've got the Inheritable when one of your D Brigade Digimon attacks. You can reveal your top two and you can play a Commandermon from among them. Pretty nice. Um, now the new Dark Dramon here is then um, when you would Digivolve into it, it's like the old one. You can return back D Brigade from Tamash to top of deck in order to reduce the Digivolution cost by one for each returned. Um, so we're going to hopefully go from a five to a zero cost evolution. Um, then on your turn when you would play a D Brigade Digimon, uh, you can delete an opponent's Digimon with a play cost uh, equal to or lower than what you've played. So hopefully we're playing a, a big boy here, deleting a big boy from their opponent's uh, side of the field. Combos well with the Tantramon obviously. You attack, you play a D Brigade, um, you pop one of their guys and you unsuspend as well. Very nice. We've got the old Dark Dramon here. Now this, like I say, we're trying to maintain that fast, fast, fast rush element of the old D Brigade lists. Um, 
Dark Dramon obviously is a very good ender here. We're not playing any hybrids for game. This is our hybrid for game. Um, let's see how it works out. We've three Death X1. Again, this is a fast, fast, fast version. Trying to punish our opponents for going wide on the board. Um, you're going to have a lot of Hydramon kicking about. So we need the Death X to try and punish them for that. And spamming Tamers as well. Um, four Kazu. Again, another card that's stopped being played by D-Brigade players. I think this is mandatory um, in a rush deck. Helps you ditch the bits you don't need, get new bits in, start of your turn, you're going to be gaining one memory every time pretty much because the whole deck is Cyborg and Machine. Laser Cannon is a fantastic new option we have here. Um, makes a lot of sense in a, a rushy mid-range version. Uh, your Iron Fist, your Ultimate Flare, there are three extra on top of this card. So this is something that you can play, um, not give them a whole ton of memory and potentially shut down a push they've got. Um, just testing it out here, this is all about testing today. Um, and we've got two Pride Memory. We're really struggling for deck space in the new D Brigade. Um, and we've only got, I think we've got 22 targets for this. So the odds of hitting it are actually kind of low. Um, that's why we're not maxed out on it. But it is a fantastic tempo piece. And um, being able to play one of your four cost guys for two essentially. Very good. And it also fuels the trash for Dark Dramon. So let's get into the games. Um, let's see what happens here. And hopefully we can make a fantastic list here for next week when the set drops. Uh, guys, I do all my testing on Untap, so if you do see me kicking around, come in for some games. Untap's a great way to test your decks. Um, very, very good bit of software. It's not perfect, it's not too pretty, but um, it does the job very straightforwardly. Now, um, like I say here, I'm going to edit out this bit, so you don't have to watch me waiting five minutes for a game or what have you. Um, so, see you in the games. A few moments later. Alright guys, that's us going in with the first game here. Opponent has asked uh, if Mulligan is on, and I've actually said yes, because uh, the ultimate cups are all Mulligan on. So, this looks like a good opening hand to me here. We've got the Kazu turn 1, we've got one of our pieces as well. Uh, we'll hatch over. Hatch the little missing one. We'll evolve into this Commander Mon, the blocker, and we'll draw a card. Um, then we're actually just going to Kazu for 3. And, um, over at you sir. Getting the Kazu online early is pretty nice. A good Pride Memory Boost is good as well early, so we'll see what happens. Oh, he's playing fucking Mastermon. Um, terrible matchup for us historically. Maybe the new deck will make it better. He's he's on he's on three here. I oh, know he's given me two, right? I see. He's going to pass the turn to me on two, and um, we'll end up being three because Kazu gains his one at the start of our turn if we've got a Cyborg on Machine, start of our main phase even. Um, we've got the Dark Drum on as well, so we want to full send up the line if possible. And we'll shake the Kazu to let him know we'll go to 3. And um, yep, it's, it's looking good to me here, so let's just swing. We'll tap the Kazu, we'll draw one trash one. Probably going to trap. Oh, fantastic. Trash this Commandramon here, um, and we're doing good. So the Commandramon's going to die. He's 2k, we're not bothered about it. Absolutely fine. Um, then we're just going to pray Memory Boost for 4. That's going to reveal the top 3 cards of our deck. If we hit a Commandramon, we're safe as houses. Doesn't even need to be a commander one, but we've got one anyway. We're actually going to take this guy and be greedy, trash the other two, and pass to him on one. Looks like a fantastic start, to be honest with you. Um, we're actually going to greed our ass off next turn, probably going to swing with this commander one. Let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up, and come on, who's with me? Um, so he's on one here, and um, yep, he's going up the line. So for... He's going to evolve into this new Angel Woman. If you don't have a Trial of the Four Great Dragons in your battle area, you may place one from your hand. Very nice. Trial of the Four Dragons is a deck about spamming out big level 6s. And when you play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3k, so he's deleting the Commandramon. Going to get the on-deletion effect, and we're going to play... Hmm, looks like we're going to play another Commandramon. Very nice. <laughs> this is this is pretty great, to be honest with you. Having me a sheesh when it evolves into an Archangel or Fallen Angel, it can reduce the cost by two. Very broken card. Very, very lucky player. Trying of the Four Great Dragons has uh, got the delay effect. You can play a card with four Great Dragons, and it straights from your hand. Without paying its memory cost, and they can't evolve to level 7, and they're deleted uh, at the end of the turn. So, um, pretty good that you can cheat it out. This deck has to cheat it out, or else it's ridiculous, obviously, to play that for 8. 
there's a lot of different effects tri four trials of the great dragons can do um, this is good for us here he's going to play a reinforcing memory boost uh, we might actually be able to go full send this turn up to the damn dark Um li literally we've already got five four d brigade in trash um, so the, the question is do we want to risk it all uh, slip and fall I don't ever run away or whatever that song says um, do we want to risk it could absolutely risk it to be honest and um, greed our ass off another tank drum on here I think we're probably going to risk it and um, let's see what happens swing me tap me oh he's reminding me about the Kazu good man okay boy going to draw one. Oh, this is a blowout guys this is a blowout we trashed that tank drum on here uh, we can actually kill his, his little cat here, which is insane. Oh, he gets that off the stack. Now, that's pretty good. He can actually play can actually play two um, big-ass dragons next turn. So, uh, our guy didn't die either. That's okay. Fair. <laughs> he got that off the reinforcing, so that's um, a bit more understandable. Now, question is here, what do we want to do? Could just play the laser cannon, pop his guy, and play the laser cannon, sets us to two, and then we're setting him to three. He's going to have a big swing turn here. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to evolve for two. Bang, bang. Oh, I can't laser cannon exactly, that's a bit awkward. Maybe we've done a little bit of trolling here. Might have to hard play the commander one. Not the worst thing in the world though. But uh, we have trolled. We could have done it out here. Oh well. Um, laser cannon his guy. Bang. D digivolves his card by one and then deletes his level five with the full card. Um, cool. So we are now at zero. Awkwardly enough, the Kazu's actually cucked us a bit here. It mate, that that laser cannon card is absolutely great. Like for five, we've just deleted a. Uh, We've just deleted the level 5. That's great news. Um, now the only issue is we've put him to 4 here. And he's got a lot of swing, a lot of momentum coming down this turn. But so do we next turn. Um, we're going to be at least at have 4 memory to work with here. Evolves for 2. What does this do? Um, when Digivolve and reveal the top 4 cards of your deck, add a yellow Digimon with Dramon in its traits of 4 great and 1 card before great dragons in its traits to hand. Place the remaining at the bottom of the deck. So he's whiffed, I believe. Yeah, he's whiffed. E oofed. Um, yeah, he's whiffed. Feels bad, man. This Salomon's the DNA one. Uh, and this... Oh, it's inherited. When your Digimon with four gate dragons and its traits is played, that Digimon gains rush. This Digimon can attack with the enters play. Very nice. Um, he's going to pop the reinforcing, go to five. And what's he going to do with that? Now he could... Digivolve up the stack. He's got two of these banked as well, so he can play two of these out. It's, it's going to be a big turn for him, man. And when Digivolve, if you've not got a trial, that seems ass. Um, he's he's missed the effects here. He could have popped both of these and played another one, maybe. Um, nah, but he's probably not got one in hand, to be fair. Opponent's turn while you have a Digimon with four great dragons and its traits, or trial the four great dragons, this gains blocker. So 7k blocker is okay. Um, combined with the other Wayne Digivolving effect, it's quite strong. He's swinging in. Bit sussy. He's no, swinging in at the Commander one, that makes more sense. Um, if you've got a yellow Digimon and play draw one, absolutely fair boys. Fair boys, get my effect, my top three for a Commander one. Uh, we've whiffed it, feels bad, man. And we've got 18 of them, how are we whiffing it? What are the odds? Oh well. Can't get lucky every time. But um, we got lucky the first time to even get that effect. To get that uh, commander one out to begin with. So, absolutely understandable. Um, now, I'm not too scared here. He's got two memory left to play with. And um, nothing too insane happening here, surely. He's going to pop this and play a big a big effing dragon. But it will be dying at the end of his turn. So, that's fine. So, he plays this. Um, what's he doing? Shaking Vidram one, what's he got? Gains Rush, okay, when attacking one of your opponent's Digimon gets 6k DP for the turn. Cool. So he's going to delete that then. 
Then by determining a minor one or make a drum one from trash. Okay, that's fine. He kick it. He's going to swing it into the security stack. What's he got? Uh, Commander one. Now we are well and truly fueled here. Um, one issue I was wondering about this deck is was it going to be able to fuel the, the, the Trash VD Brigade? But look, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on um, my second turn of the game. So that is absolutely freaking nutty. He's got Blocker here, we'll have to remember that. Uh, we've got 7k as well, so we can't swing over it. But annoying. But we're going to be going into our Dark Draymon here anyway. Um, end of his turn, this will get deleted, right? Unsus me. Um, okay, send to trash. Because I do believe that's how it works. Yep, so delay, play one card. If it beats me, it doesn't want can and Oh! Oh! End of my turn. Nepe, nepe. Okay. So we evolve here for three. One, two, three. Draw a card. Um, shake it to indicate when did evolve and reveal top three cards of deck. We can play a D Brigade for cost of five or less. Cool. We're going to be playing the Decoy Boy. Getting these guys out of here. And um, we've not got the rush effect, which is a bit shitty, but you know, can't be can't be perfect. Um mm, 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 mm. Mm, this is once per turn as well, so that's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna indicate with this. We're gonna reduce the cost to zero. We're gonna put back one one. We're actually going to get a tank for one back in rotation as well. It's quite nice. Two. Um, what else do we want? Probably a cheap guy. Could get a block. No, we don't want that. We don't need a blocker. Um, and let's get back. Let's get back the sergeant as well. Okay, so we're getting back five to the top of the deck here. The order is going to be... In fact, get him back. We don't need him. We don't need him. Get me a decoy. Because um, he's probably not going to see action anyway, so we'll put the sergeant on the bottom, then this guy, then the decoy one, then uh, this guy, then the tank drum one on top so we can get another tank drum one in rotation. Now we'll evolve for free, we're going to draw this, mate this is cracked, absolutely cracked. Um, we're going to swing, we're going, we're going at the stack, uh, let's, let's go into this guy right. So we're going to swing here, we're going to go when attacking of this guy first. Um, we're going to tap him as well. We're going to play top two. We're going to play out this guy. This guy is going to go to trash. And um, then we're going to do a draw here. We're going to draw one trash one. Let's trash another commander one to get the freaking train continuing. Um, and then we're going to use this effect to pop... To send that. Oh no wait, 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 wait. Doesn't matter. We can't pop because the effect because he costs more. Um so that's fine. Um effect of him, unsuspend. Very poggers. Oh. Um now this feels very powerful already, I'll be honest. Um let's swing in a stack. Bang. 12k. 12k one check. Bang. Now he's gonna un he's gonna reboot next turn as well. It's nuts. Darkness wave, uh, trash top three. Then if you've got a yellow Digimon, return a yellow or purple Digimon from trash to hand. Uh, that is pretty freaking good for him. Um, but it's not gonna stop the big man. So we're absolutely laughing here. He's gonna put a gold Ramon back. So he's gonna play a gold Ramon again next turn. A god Ramon is his actual name. It's just the dub. Um, now we've got. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. So we can just go ahead and drop a Higurumon, pray for no death X, and we will shake him, we'll trash him, we'll draw two. Bang, bang. And uh, over to him on two memory, and we're going to reboot, bang, shake the missy, and unsuspend. Now we've got lethal already. We've got we've got lethal next turn. Um, absolutely. This is insane. But it does feel like we've drawn the nuts a little bit here, I don't know if you guys agree. I mean, we got the Kazu on early, we managed to choke him a couple of times, and um, 
We've got a prime memory boost down early as well, which has totally fueled the fire here. Might be a bit sus to keep the tank drum on, because all we need to do is apply pressure. We absolutely have no need to um, do anything too crazy. Already, guys, a lot of my early fears about the um, about the D Brigade list not being powerful enough are going. That was that was a turn and a half. Um, so I mean, we we popped out two free guys. Uh, we didn't even get the pop effect on when I had Digimon, but we've just totally controlled the game here. Um, if he can't get something really pog off of this, he's probably just lost. Um, now we've got so much tempo in our favour as well that. Um, He's going to have a real hard time catching back up again, so let's see what happens. Take a big sip of the jug. Vimto Raspberry. you got to love it. What's he done? So he's popped his Trial of the Dragons. He's going to play a big a big fella. Plays minus Ramon. All your opponents did Ramon gain minus one check. We will thumb him. Minus one. Oh, if it's played by the effect, it's minus two to all instead. On deletion, if you've not got a Trial of the Great Dragons, you can play one. Very nice, very pokers. He's evolved for one, again, because of the Gatomon. Uh, if you don't have one, you can play one. Man, he's he's, he's seen them all so early. Um, he's minus three K in someday. Absolutely no worries. You can do that, my friend. Farm him again. This guy's good. Um, I like this guy. Seems to know what he's doing. Uh, friendly. Everything you need for a card gamer. Goldramon. He's evolved into Goldramon for three. One, two, three. Okay, when did you evolve? And you may return the four great dragons in its traits from Trash to Hand. So that's how he recycles these mad boys. That's fair. I was just going to die at the end of the turn. Um, we've been blanketed. So that's cool. Oh, sheesh. So we can... D digivolve them, we could de we are probably not gonna do FX, to be honest. So we got the Pagamon this time, we're gonna shake the damn Kazu, we're gonna gain our memory. Now we could actually attack. We could attack and we probably will, because we're gonna reboot and all that anyway. So yeah. Let's just evolve in the back so we've got something else to do. Let's draw. Um yeah, we just go into the Seals Drummond as well for two. Absolutely no reason not to draw me. Oops. Didn't mean to suspend this guy. So it's swing. At sec for zero. Tap this. Draw one. Trash one. We'll trash the Kazu. No point in keeping it again. Mm. Is there another point in keeping this online? I'm going to trash the Commander one, right? Well, I'm playing a bit fast here, guys, because um, there's no reason not to. Top two, bang. Play this guy out, trash this guy, um, and unsuspend me. Cool. So we're, we're developing a lot of threats here, guys, um, and I don't think he's got the pressure to do much about it. Um, probably just drop a Kazu. I'd imagine he's not going to have all these guys in trash to trash my top two. This is dying at the end of the turn. He's He's already got one of these out, so it's not going to play another one. It's um, it's interesting. There might be an argument for literally just popping this, bringing them down here. Yeah, let's do that. Um, just for tempo, because we're winning like heck anyway. Laser, laser cannon for five. So we're going to minus two here. We're just going to de digivolve him, and uh, he can't be popped because he's five. He's eight. So um, he's on two. Over to him, and uh, this is what my friend Dylan calls an extend hand board. You play your board, and yeah, uh, it's an extend hand. It's got to be hand on deck. Uh, so he gets nothing from that. He stalled a turn, which is pretty cool. Uh, this deck is really interesting, actually. Uh, it can do some powerful things, but it seems a bit uh, inconsistent. Though he's had quite a good, quite a good turn of it this time around, like myself. So. Let's see what he does now. Um, he's got two memory to work with. Salomon in the damn back. What's this inherited? This is DNA Digivolve. I don't know if he's going to ever use the DNA Digivolve effect though. Like It seems... Um, I, I don't think you're going to be running an old Dynemon or something in this deck. Do you know? Or a Mastermon. Maybe that's what it's for. But um, it looks like he's got his... 
level fives are going to be taken up by the Vidra more than the Andrew Woman. Oh, he's doing this again. This is quite sus. This is unfortunate. I don't like it. What's he doing here? Um, when you play a Digimon, okay, minus 3k, we're going to do top three again. We're decking ourselves out. Play this guy again. Do the rest go to trap? No, they don't. It's the Commander Mon effect. So these are all going to bot my deck. We're on 18. Um, actually, there's not really much a worry about decking it with the Brigade because we can constantly keep returning things. So is this all? All your opponent's Digimon till the end of it. See, this is this is just a daft effect, man. Like, constantly getting minus two is some bullshit. How much memory am I on? One. Unsuss me. Um, shake me. Gain me one. Bang. This is annoying because there's... It's just not like a lot we can do here, really. We just have to keep fucking waiting for him to let us win the game. <laughs> um, right. Do we do this again? Why the hell not? Board's getting quite wide now, though. Is that an ish, a reason not to? Board's getting wide. Sun's going down, big guy. Just play this and pass. Probably just play this and pass. Yeah. Just play this, then that protects us a bit from the undulation effects and stuff. Um, if, if he clears the board, he's gonna have with the effect. He's gonna have one, two, three, four swings. We're still good, and we've got the tank drum on as well, so that's great. This dies. He gets to play another one if he's got it. This is nuts, man. <laughs> he's been, he's done nothing for two turns. He's just stopped me from doing anything for two straight turns. Tell me, yellow's a fun color. I dare you. I dare you. Ah, he's like, ah, ah, nothing big. Nothing big. Wait, bro, you've literally stopped me doing anything for two turns. That's not nothing big. He's got another one. He's just got another one, man. He's still going to do it. This is... This is pish. Uh, so then I said, stop my opponent doing anything for three turns. Mate, come on to fuck. He's out of three, he's out of Trial of the Great Dragons now, surely. He can't keep adding them back. I don't think he just added another one back. Um what's he doing? He's deleting this Haguru. Absolutely no worries, my man. He's gone. This is not fun. This is absolutely not fun. Me when I do my play and my opponent does their play. Oh, you hate to hear it, honestly. Okay, so he's passing me to one. Kill cool, we're on one, we draw, we shake, we gain one, we play a Kazu, we pass. His death X is going to be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 2. Well, he'll pass the turn if he death X's me, that's pretty good. Is he playing another one? Tell me you're not playing another one. He's out of, he's out of cycle on it now. He, he's not got one on rotation, so he can't stall me for another fucking turn. Jesus. This is nuts. The fact it wipes your whole board with it as well is just some crap. Utter crap. Garbage. He's thinking this is like... This is when you're thinking, you're, you're like, I've lost, I've lost, but I need to think of a play, there, there is a way out. My man, when the d brigade is D, the wins are free, remember that. Chaos degrade the stack, absolutely no bother, my man. I'm gonna chaos degrade this stack, touch your bottom and trash first kill. Bang, 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 bang. We stick this to the bottom of the stack and we trash the bottom. Cool, it was a dark jump, it was a tank jump one. Uh, little does he know we'll still get lethal next turn because <coughs> we're cracked at the game. So draw me, pull me out, gain me two. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna.
Right, so all we do now is we go into the tank Draymond, one, two, three. If this hits, we've won guaranteed, surely. Reveal top three. Oh, why did I press G there? What the hell? Didn't mean that. Uh, play top three. We can play this boy. Uh, trash the remaining. Trash the rest. Bang, bang. Bang. Cool, so now we just go ahead and we full send, yep, full full send time. So we're going to go, um, don't want to swing with him in case we get a Dark Dramon off the top. Going to go ahead and go bang, bang, draw one trash one, we don't want to go full send. Um, so into the damn stack, bang, top check, 1k, dead, get the top 3. We get one, Pog. We go again, bang. Top three. We're not going to use the Kazu because I realise we're close to dating out here. Uh, he dies, top three. Yeah, there's no way he wins now. Absolutely no way. We go bang. We have two checks left. Um, Mm, okay, so you can put something to top a stack, but we win. GG. Game one for the boys. Cool, we've got another good hand. We've got most of the pieces here already. Um, and the way this deck has been drafted has been to... Has been to... Focus on the low end and uh, work to the top end progressively. It seems like we're seeing the top end f pretty quickly. We've only got four tantrum on, we've got two in hand already, you'll love to see it. Um, paid off a lot for keeping that tantrum on last game as well, incidentally. Pretty good stuff. Already I'm thinking I, I might have the missing one down to four um, on, and get rid of the other Pagumon because we really want to see Reboot here. Cool, we got it. Um, so we'll go into the decoy boy, we'll draw. We'll go into the rushy, the jammy man of we'll draw, and we're going to do this next turn. So we're just going to play. Let's play a three and a two because it doesn't matter if we leave him on one. He's going to evolve for one anyway. So he's gave us a shit ton of memory to start off on. Um, seems like this deck's likely to do that because of the great dragon option card as well that they want to get into rotation. So we've got a very fast start here that he's going to struggle to to work with. Um, if he gives us, gives us three, we're definitely going to go ahead and um, tank him on and play a guy, give it a rush, all the gubbins. Very, this is very powerful, I think, to be honest already. Very cool. Cool, so he gets his top four, and a yellow card with Dramon, and a four great dragon card to hand. He gets the Dramon, he does not get the four great dragons. Search. Um, so that Magnamon's freaking here already. Mmm... Although it didn't win in the game last time, it's, uh, it was pretty bog years for him. Stalled me for three turns. It's like a Venus mod that hard plays itself, and then recycles, and then hard plays itself. And uh, if last game's anything to go by, recycles, and then hard plays itself again. So, he's got the, the blocker here. Um, he's going to get the four great dragons, gubbins online. Yep, and this is blocker now, right? Um, has well, you have a Digimon with four greats, and it's placed this Digimon gains blocker. Um, so we evolve here for three. Bang, bang, bang. Draw a card. Shake the boy. Pray we get one off the top. It would be huge. Oh my god, we've done it. We play this guy. Trash these two. Sad to see the Dark Dramon go. We would have loved to see that. Um, bang. Rush. Rush. Um, this is nuts. This is absolutely fucking nuts. <laughs> Mother of God. Right. Um, swing me in. 7k going in. We've got our value, so if he dies, he dies. Um, but we hope he lives another turn. That'd be huge. He's, he's dead. He's hit another guy. So, unfortunate. Um, we're getting a bit of resistance now, but it is what it is. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, is it? Swing me in. Pray for a recycle if he dies. He's dead. Top 3. 
we get the recycle, the all the doctrine ones away though is a bit unfortunate. Um, although look at this, this is turn two. He has given me a lot of memory, but this is turn two, and we're getting uh, a ridiculous amount of swings in here. Bang! Send men again. He's got a reinforcing. So cool. We've hit um, some okay stuff for him in the stack. Um, might bring him might bring him back into the game. We might go ahead and... Nah, we're not playing that. That would be troll. So it's good just to have another cheap commander on. Uh, the three cost is, is good. So we have played that for three. We're looking at lethal this turn, but he's he's definitely going to be able to play something. Um, and he's got the magna drum on as well off the four great dragons. So... Uh, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, but it's a pretty explosive start. For one, he's darkness worrying. Got the magnum, the angel woman to hand again. This is good because he can he can pop this, play a guy out, and then if he's got another one in hand, he can angel woman and uh, play one out. Very cool. For three, no, it's for one. It's for one because Gatomon is cracked, of course. Pops is. He doesn't have another trial in hand, that's what that tells me. Sad face. Because if he did have one in hand, he would have popped it and then Anja Woman. And um, he can minus 3k a guy. Why does it, why does it get rush? Oh, it's one of these, isn't it? Alright, because I'm rush, cool. So he plays a guy, he minus 3k's it because he's got a. Uh, because he's just played a trial. So he gains three memory back, very poggers for him. This guy will have block on there as well, probably. Does this get trial on its traits? No. So he needs he's it's got block on now, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait till next turn anyway. He's gonna double swing here, clear my board up a bit. Um yeah, he, he's just playing the stalling game, but he's got a good bit of control on his side now. He's swinging sec bit sussy but he might be trying to board clear with something if he is um if he's going to swing um and he's not swinging into my guys well to be fair th these two are going to clash right nah that makes sense he's going to value trade here uh these two level fives no he's got the gold drum on um and that only cost him three very pog can return a four gate dragons card to hand he's going to return back the trial right the trial, yep, the trial is going back. He can swing, he can oh, so he can clear the full board here if he wants. We have a yellow Digimon in play, draw one, cool. Untap's a great thing, guys. It's just um it's so easy to use. Other thing I love is if I want to, I can just go like that, bang mid game, bang into my deck, and um we can adjust the, the deck list as well and we can go straight back in. It's very good, it's very nice. Gold drum on. He's shaking gold drum on. Uh deletes that, cool, yep. This is looking bad now, guys. Um, he was he was nearly killed so quickly, but um, and then he just swings here. Yeah, he's got a lot of control on his side here, and uh, we're running out of gas, gas, gas. Plays that, plays the mat. He can get back a purple option. He's going to get the darkness with a back. Cool. Now a death X would be pretty pog for me here. Um, we're going to struggle to find one though. We're absolutely going to struggle to find one. We got the pog. Um, evolve. We need to draw something nice here or we're going to be struggling. Right, so let's read this again. So he can minus 6k someday and he can minus 3k someday. Um, so he, he can double pop this, which is a bit of a bastard. Might actually just play the Higuru for cycle here because um, we need to find something good or we're probably losing here. So for 3, bang, bang, bang. Uh, we'll discard the sergeant to draw 2. We don't need the sergeant right now. Okay. Um, not seeing any other options here. This is the one downside to this version of the deck. It's all full send, nothing else. It's gonna pop back. It's gonna get another one back in play. Now this deck on paper looks kind of ass. His deck I'm talking about, but watching him, watching him play it, it already looks a lot more cogent when you see everything working together. And um, you can see how it's a competitive deck. He's also not had to hard play this one time. Let's see, why is he at 1? He's appearing, he's at 1. Oh yeah, he's evolved. Kill. 
Um, so yeah, he gets his search off, very nice. Man, this date looks very fun, very interesting actually. Can't search, oh no, he can search a yellow card. Oh, he's got the double dip. He's got the double dip. Darkness freaking wavy. And he's pulling back what? Oh, he gets it, oh. He just gets the bloody Magnum on back. Is this why they limited calling from darkness? And this card's pretty good against me, even without the crazy effect. If you've got one of each of the of the um, four great dragons in your trash, you can just discard the top two cards from my stack. This deck's really cool, man. I wonder if this is his homebrew or he's um, taking this from somewhere, because this seems really good, actually. He's popping it. He's going to play a freaking magnum on. Yep. He's going to kill the hag. Hag dead. Hag down. He, he can give that rush, can he? Oh! Hey, this is... This is cottons for us, there's not much we can do here, honestly, this is what? He's drawing one. Death X kills it, Pog. Okay, now we have a chance maybe because he's um, value engines off a bit. But um, it's an uphill battle for sure. It's sad we didn't see a Death X in hand this game. Um, yeah, like legit. If he doesn't, if he doesn't do that, he needs to swing eventually, man. It's not always going to be a death edge, you know. That's just a bad scenario. This is heavy grindy, man. Uh, swinging in. Kazu Pog. Pog champ. What's he doing now? Let's see if he's talking. Not talking. Over. What's he saying to it then? This is what I mean, man. People be thinking out here. People really be thinking in this game. And I'm like, swing, swing, swing. Darkness with A set me to one. Oh, fuck. He's getting, he's fueling this trash here. Um, he's, he's one dragon off of getting the Goldramon effect. He needs an Azulomon and trash. And then he can get the gold drum on the fed. But it's at the point now. Does it really matter? Not really. Not really. <laughs> we can't even play a blocker here because he'll just minus 3k it. Um, and then we're fucked. So let's see what we get here. We can't we can't choke him either. We might have to play the boy out. We might have to, we might have to send it. He can't minus it. I think I'm just going to pull it out, man, because he's just going to keep cycling anyway. Why not? Gain me one. Bang. They play him for two. This is fucking troll, man. Oh, well. Play that for two. Go to zero. Um, evolve into the tank. Draymond for three. Um, shake that. A thang. Top three. And hopefully we get a seal drummer. Because we whiff. We whiff. We whiff. It's over. Um, he plays any card here. Next turn, we lose. Unless we get the laser cannon off the stack or something. Look how deep we are in our deck, by the way. And we've not drew a Death X or a laser cannon. Or um, either of the Dartramon. It's a little bit unfortunate. But, um, you know, his deck has done what his deck does. And it has stopped us doing anything once again. It's very sad. Some real unhealthy decks kicking around in the meta now, man. Like, um, we've got a friggin' deck that spat. Oh, this is a bit suspect. You can kill this now with the Goldramon. And, uh. Mm, he's returned it. Yeah, he can he can kill us with the Goldramon and the Angel Woman. Oh, yeah, inherited. So if he plays something out, you better believe he. He's gonna be trash. He's gonna be blowing up the boy. Oh, and he's got oh, he's got oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this stinks. Okay, he lives. The creep of power in Digimon, by the way. There's only four. There's only four. Yeah, he's, he's realised. 
Where's he? Where's he got this Azulo one from, by the way? Oh, so he's got it now. I don't know where he got that from, but I do believe. I do believe him. Seems like a nice guy. Um, so let's play one more. Let's see what the thrilling conclusion of these this best of three is. We do security first, always. That is what the rules be saying. Draw me. Okay, cool. Good start. Uh, hatch me. Messy pissy. Evolve me. Draw me. And Kazumi. Now, unlike the last game, we've now got uh, many death decks in hand. Uh, not optimal. I'll be honest, it's absolutely suboptimal plays. Because, um... You're not really going to be playing more than one a game, I wouldn't imagine. It doesn't even look like he, he's not a tamer spam deck, so we're not going to get great value off of it. Um, and if he's ending on his level sixes that he's hard playing, uh, odds are, yeah, we're going to we're going to really struggle. He's evolving in the game on for three. Suspect, bro. Suspect. I'd have just hard played that. If he hard played that, I'd be on two, um, and he'd get his search as well, and he'd have an extra body on board. Um, so he's revealed the top three. He can get a yellow and a purple Digimon. So he's going to get this and, and oh, he's got another one here. Probably going to get that and the cat, that and the Magnamon. Magna Dramon, I should say. Where's this going? They hard play it. Oh, he hard played it. Ah, so now we're on five. Okay. Um, we're going to just pull out here. We're going to shake the boy. Gain one. Swing here. Tap me. Drum. I could have played a Kazu, but who cares? Flash me. Um, into the damn stack. Dead. We're going to play man, made out of cogs. I'm um, going to try this, the blocker, because we don't need it yet. Draw two. Going to play another Kazu here for three. Get this engine online, because this is going to be a grindy game again. It seems like these are all grindy AF. Um, now, just in case he's got a way to pop boat. Is he going to be able to pop two? Nah. Nah, he's not. Um, let's play this for two then, set him to two. He can evolve twice actually. Oh, if I get punished here, he can evolve because Gatomon's broken. He can evolve twice into it, um, into two different Angel women, and um, potentially he plays. He just hard plays something and pops both. That would really shut down some advantage for me. Um, one good thing we've got here: the DFX in hand. I feel it's if he leaves us on a board where. He's got two uh, level fours or two level fives. Then uh, we can punish. That'll be great. Hand is microscopic right now. By the way, look at that. And um, thank God we've got the Kazu engine online. So he's going to evolve for one here into an angel lady, angel woman. Sorry. And um, he's going to play a, ga a trial. Has he got it? He he's always got it. He he why why would he not have it? Um, and then he kills one of my men. Sad times. But can he do it again? Is he gonna hard? If he hard plays a guy here, we're pogged. If he hard plays a guy, we just death X and it's a blowout. Um, cool. Eleven K, you're dying. We won't be death Xing today, my man. From the looks of things. Oh, this turn at least we won't. Uh, has he got a way to blow this up? He's matting. He's matting. We like to see it. Now, one thing is he's gonna be able to start the trial train next turn we're gonna go bang we're gonna go bang we're gonna gain two well we should have hatched first but literally doesn't matter so who cares um mm, we're probably gonna draw some bits here so i, I was just thinking because three plus three does equal six i don't know if you're all aware um but it does so i was thinking three plus three pass him to oh he's got a, he's got a memory choker anyway literally doesn't matter um so we'll swing at the stack We'll tap, tap, we'll draw one, trash one twice. Draw one, trash one, draw one, and we'll keep this guy here. Um, Seals drum on. Ah, I don't know if we want it, man. I really don't know if we want it right now. We're going to get rid. And we're going to go into the stack at two digital power. He's got another trial off that. Um, trial just glued to this, this man's being, unfortunately. I'll give him a sheesh. Definitely sheesh worthy. Um, so, I mean, the defects looks quite ass, but we could actually defects here for 14, 79. Kill that. He's got no pressure next turn. He just. Nah, he chaos the exit. Chaos the exit, my sad. 
Let's go one, two, three. Let's go one, two, three. <laughs> oh, I'm like, oh, we're shaping up before. We're definitely not. He's going to mag my drum on him. Um, cool, he goes up to three. But imagine this wasn't the deck we were fighting, right? And we've got this massive board. And we're about to... We, we've literally got lethal on board here. Um, only issue is, I mean, he, he swings over. He probably pops one of these as well. But, uh, you know what? We're going fast. The deck feels very fast. I don't know if this is just a crap matchup. Probably is, because he can just spam out Magna Drummonds infinitely. But does this not seem a bit broken to you guys? Spamming out Magna Drummonds. Constantly recovering. What's this guy do? I think he gains your memory. I won't play draw two. Then if played from Trial of the Great Dragons, draw two. Game two, sorry. So he's going to go up to five. He's going to pop one of these. We're going to do the effect. Bang. Top three. Oh, we get another one back. We do love to see it. So he goes. We get him back. Bang, bang. And um, he's here. He is back. The boys. The privates, I used to call them, man. Because they're just 1k privates going and dying and they're replaceable. Um, a lot of parallels with the old military uh, the Deep Brigade have. Fodder. That absolute cannon fodder. Um, and like the real military as well, the um, the privates are actually probably some of the greatest soldiers we have. 1, 2, 3. It's evolving into Godramon. Can return back four great dragons from trash. Does not have one to return, we pog. Um he cannot give us rush, right? No. It's the it's the Vidra one line that gives it rush. Okay. So he's gonna dart this with A to get back this guy? What? Seems a bit oh well, no. He, he gets the mill first and he sees something he actually wants to get back. Um an Angel Woman or a Hero V Draman. Um, now we're in a bit of a tricky situation here. Ah oh, yeah, we all just replay it, man. This is a nightmare. One good thing is he's already Godramond, so he can't um, use that for the weaker. But maybe he's already got one in hand uh, that he's going to recur. We will see. Time will tell. Popping another Yeah, yeah, he's popping the second one, of course. Absolutely. He's playing another one, he's drawing another two, he's gaining another two. Okay, he pops my guy again. We get another V-car, hopefully. Play this man out. Bang. To the bottom. Swig of the damn juice. Hydrate. The good news here is he's not magma drummond again. So we do actually have... Um, we, we can actually do something next turn. He's evolved into the damn cat again. You hate to see it. This cat is a borked card. It's absolutely nuts. He's swinging. Is he swinging into the Higuru? He is. Um, when attacking. When attacking, he can blow up a guy as well, right? Yes, he's blowing this guy up. And that's actually quite good for us. Because if we get the recur. Holy crap. And um, we got it. Then we can play this dude out and we'll still get three swings next turn setting up the damn lethal so bang bang that's death x in for friggin 3 6 9 12 15 for 5 pog champ what's he set us to 4 mate he's fucked it he's absolutely fucked it unlucky my dude so let's pull out at the after party Um, cool we'll start the swing train swing tap Tap, tap, draw one, trash one. Oh my god, draw one, trash one. Cool. Bang. Yeah, just do that first. So the cat, shake me. Top three. Oh, sheesh, we're back. We've seen all of these guys, which has been very handy. But I'm already starting to think, is the Pagumon better? This game, the Pagumon would have definitely been better. Um. Now he's got a turn as well here. He's, he's going to have a turn where he can do something. In response. Might actually cycle this here. But he, he'll just pop it anyway. Chaos Degrade. Is he degrading this? This is degrading indeed. Who's he going to use it on? 
He's gonna get them all in trash. He's gonna have them all in trash next turn. Um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Play death X for 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bang. D Digivolve. Just the D Digivolve's great here. Um, just delays him a bit. Um, I think we might just hard play this. Yeah, I don't see much of an issue with hard playing it. You'll be on 4. We evolve, we get the card cycle. He can swing over it. Yeah, it's, it's got to be a hard play. Um, we, we could actually save it as well, but we're not going to get to this tantrum on this game, guys. I, I really doubt it. And then he's going to pop both his guys here as well. Yep. And he'll get to play another trial out, but they won't both play a trial. Just the one. The good news as well here, we've got our control piece with the Death X mod. So um, we can actually swing over these guys even when we've got no att attack from the Magna Drum on. And um, we, obviously we get the end of turn delete his lowest play cost card. So um, yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. The only issue with giving him, oh well, I was going to say it's an issue with giving him four because he can go back into Godramon if he has it, but um, he actually could have done that anyway because he'd be on the three from that. He's using the damn darkness wavy, so he's going down to three. And he's returning the Megidramon. I think that kills a guy. Oh, actually, I think he can kill DFX with a Fairy Pog. This deck is very annoying, man. Holy crap. So please that. Look when your opponent's level 5. If it was played, add 1 to the maximum level so you can't delete it. It's only a 6 you can delete, which is good news for us. You can kill that, though. On play, delete. Yeah, so he's going to do the order so we can delete that and delete that. Cool. We're still looking okay. We've got 5 security. Um, we're missing the Kazoo engine now though, which is a bit of an issue. He's gained one back, yep, with the candle. That's fair. And he's got the god, fuck. He puts the Azulong in hand again. And how many great dragons has he got in trash? Two. So um yeah, he might have the third in hand, I can't remember honestly. I'm falling asleep here. Absolutely falling asleep here. Yep, so he's saying he can do minus 12k somehow. Is it, Maybe he's talking about with long key addict stack. No, well that would put it to my stack. I don't know how he would do 6k to begin with. Is that not 3? Yep, that's 3. I don't know how he's going to get minus 12k to begin with, to be honest. Um, so he minus 1k is it, yep. Me thumb. Nyaro draws a card. Mate, look at this guy's hand. This deck's insane. We get a Command Dremon. Hey, listen. See if we got a bloody one Dark Drum on here, we'd be laughing. I think we might even have to put the Dark Drum on numbers up, guys. But we'll see with time. What the... Cool, what is it? Minus 7. It's chaotically degrading it. Yep. Bottom. No, top probably. He's going to go top trash. Bottom and trash first. You're cracked, mate. What? That means he can't swing with the god. The god hand. Okay, we drew this. This is going to save us. I put my heat out the sunroof. Um. Don't want to get demonetized, obviously. When everything it always trusted degrade. It's really degrading for me to lose to it. Guys, we're at seven here and we've got nothing to do. Um Listen, is when all else fails, hard drop a tank. Deal with that, MF. -er. I don't know if that's troll or what, man, but if, like I say, I'm checked out here. I've got no cards in hand. He's just going to keep cycling this BS over and over again. I just sit going. If he plays Mega Dramon uh, or Magna Dramon, then I'm humped. 
If he doesn't, then I'm pogged. The, fa the fact that the this gets around the delay, by the way, by end of the turn deleting it um, and putting a bar this into the battle area is very nutty. Because he, he can just keep sending it. Look, he's doing it again, man. He's going to play another one. Magnadramon, is it, mate? No, Azulomon. Okay, we're pogged. He gains two and draws two only for free. That's absolutely fine. Um, we can handle draw two, gain two for free. Um, we couldn't handle the Magna. And the question is, he's not getting close to this effect, is he? Okay, he's minus 3k in it, so this dies anyway. Probably should have not played that. Well, you're going to swing and minus it anyway, bro, aren't you? Darkness Wave, was he getting back? Listen, good, you know I got back a Magna Drew on. No hard one in rotation. We love to see it. It's got another gold drum on to hand. Just in case this one dies for whatever reason. Am I have I got lethal here? If he can he play a magna drum on or win this turn I win. He's also not got a V drum on off, so um it's on two. I must have miscounted. Oh yeah, yeah, he gained one with the candle guy. Um, he can play a trial, but it doesn't really matter. Darkness with eight, he's got it. He's got it, man. No. Yeah, he's he's got the combo now. Does he have lethal? One, two, three, four. He's one off. He's one off getting the the big swing, because now he's got one of each in trash, so he can swing and trash two. Um, so he nearly got there. Yeah. Oh, this is tense. Um, because now if he swings, he like I say, he's gonna swing. I've got four security. This is basically three swings. This is one. The good news is he can't give it rush. Unless he's got a hybrid for game. So when attacking, he'll pop this, and um, he's going to return these to the bottom of his deck. He is. He's doing it. I will trash these preemptively. There's the lethal piece. We hate to see it. Is the one boy going to be able to do it? The fact we put him to zero security was really big because there's, there's not a lot he can do to avoid it. Check. Security. Check. 3k. 3k Lance Corporal. Or corporal, I should say. He's the corporal, guys. Of course he is. What am I, what am I doing? What am I thinking? And then he recovers one. Minus four. Playing something for six. I should just played. Cringe. 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 Now, if we get one dart drum on its game here, um, I think we might have seen two already. That's two. We've got to find a way to fit a Grumblemon in here, guys. That would be Pog. Raise. Swing. Tap, tap, tap. Draw one. Trash one. Draw one. Trash one. Draw one. Trash one. He lives. Draw one. That doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Play that for five. He just misclicked. Okay, and then we just pass. Pass me. Probs GG. Tell you what. Well, them one, well, them one, uh, a sneaky one. Reveal. It's death X you win. We know this. Well, guys, you've seen it here. Um, this is just a little bit of testing. Um, wanted to see how long this was going to take, but it's it was actually quite a long time for three games. We'll see how it goes when it's edited down, um, and we might play more in the future. Um, first thing I'm going to do 
this that seems like a hard matchup for us to win. Honestly, if they if they do what they what they want to do, um, it's difficult, man. I'm I'm going to do a bit more testing before we up the Missimons uh, or get rid of the Missimons for Pagumons. But we're just running out of gas, um, and we didn't quite have the finisher to to push past. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to drop a laser cannon. We're going to put a Grumblemon in. Just that gives us that one bit of lethal. Um, I always like to say if you've got one of a card, you're almost always happy to see it. Um, sometimes we draw too many Grumblemon in a, in a game and we're not happy. But that one is just a nice piece to top end. Um, we could actually put in another Darkdemon as well. Mm. Uh, we'll try the Grumble one. we'll see how it goes. Anyway guys, that's been the first episode of this testing series. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe and all that BS. Because um, it's a small channel. I'm wanting to do some more stuff in the future. So if you enjoyed it, please show your support. Uh, thanks very much for watching guys. I've been Cobb and uh, I'll hopefully see you in the next one, okay? Take it easy.